Hey there folks, so I just had two humongous milestones on my channel. I broke through 1,000 subscribers and then very soon after that I broke through 1024 subscribers, 20, 1024 being 2 to the 10th and me being a computer geek and another, many other kinds of geek as well. Uh, that's the more significant number for me. So yeah, I have over 2 to the 10th subscribers. I'm so happy and I decided to celebrate that that I would give back to the community by creating a tutorial video on how to make a YouTube video for a DS battle the way that I do, or rather the way that I used to because I'm not going to be showing you the compositing stuff, um, you know, the stuff having to do with the layout, uh, but anyway, let's, uh, I'm not going to be showing you how to do anything on the DS because, you know, I mean, all you have to do is have a battle and save it as a battle video, and I'm also not going to be showing anything having to do with how you get the save file from uh, your DS to your computer because that's going to depend on your hacking device. Um, what, what I am going to be talking about is emulator settings. Um, and then I'm going to be talking about how you do all the editing and audio editing especially to have it so you have a video that has your own audio um, and also has the uh, DS Battle special effects. I know that not all of you like uh, DS Battle special effects, um, but in that case this probably isn't the tutorial video for you, although you probably can get some stuff out of this because I will be teaching you a little bit how to do Audacity stuff. Um, but anyway, let's just get down uh, to it. So the emulator that I use is No Money GBA. Um, now, as I said, I'm not going to be showing you how you uh, get your save file on here. I'm not going to be telling you where to get ROMs or anything like that. But as I said, okay, so it's No Money GBA. I run it through something called No Money Zoomer, uh, which is uh, it's an add-on for No Money GBA. Uh, you run No Money GBA through it, and it basically blows everything up. So. Uh, no money GBA is loading. Here it goes. Let me pull it onto the screen. Um, cartridge not found. That's fine. That's expected. Um, I load up the uh, ROM with the corresponding save that I want. I basically have different ROMs for different say uh, for my different teams because I've had those sprite hacks. Again, I'm not going to be talking about the sprite hacks either. Um, there are many, many way better tutorials if you want to talk about sprite hacks. So anyway, so I'm going to go ahead, so I get the blue screen of death, that's to be expected. I go into cheats, and I'm going to have to enable the no money GBA fix cheat. Um, I want the no music cheat, the no low HP music cheat, and then I'm going to want one of the background codes. Um, specifically, I think I'm going to do desert today. Um, and all these codes are going to be available for download, or I'll just put them in the description or something. Uh, maybe not the background codes, but you know, definitely these codes. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. I'm going to go ahead and actually before I hit reset, let me just show you some of my settings. Um, so size, I have it as 2.5x. You could potentially go larger. Um, 2.5x for me works out to 640 by 480, and so that's why I have it set. Um, screen ratio, whatever. Okay, uh, filter. I do bilinear and HQ2x. I just, you know, played around with the different filters and I realized H2QX or HQ2x really looked the best. Um, so now I go ahead and hit reset. And after, and there we go. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit X. Now I'm not showing you how to record. Uh, the desktop, as I said, because basically you're going to want to use different software depending on whether you're on a Mac or on Windows, and there's much better software out there. Just type it into Google. Um, so yeah, so here I am. I've I've uh, materialized in the Pokemon uh, Center. I'm actually going to want to leave the Pokemon Center, and I'm going to want to go somewhere else because if you've ever noticed that at the beginning and the ends of my um, videos, you hear a little bit of the background uh, sounds, and I basically want it to be slightly different than I don't want. It to be um, Pokemon Center for sure. I think you know for this test, I'm just going to do Mr. L or not Mr. Lon City, Icarus City, I guess. Um, but I could, you know, I have. Let me show you my team. I have a flyer here, so I could really fly to anywhere. I could go into a cave. I could go on my bike. Um, this isn't really interesting. So let's go ahead and load up the VS recorder. Uh, going to go ahead and tap. I want to change the color of the background to pink, just because it's all nice and pink. Um, battle videos, my video, and here's the video. Um, as you s can see here, I actually uh, uploaded it to the Nintendo WFC. Not going to give you instructions there. You can only do it if you, you and your opponent both don't hack, and also if you don't have a frost last. And there are a few other Pokemon that set off the profanity center sensors. It's actually really funny. But so now, okay. Anyway, um, I'm going to hold down the A button before I hit play um, because hitting down the A button will activate the background code. So now let's go ahead and start. Um, here you see custom background. Yeah, this is a battle against Moody Poons. Um, 
it, I don't know whether I will have uploaded this video first or whether I'll have uploaded that video first. Uh, custom sp uh, background sprite. Um, interesting. I actually didn't notice that it got cut off like that. Anyway, um, so, yeah, uh, I don't really need to show you this whole thing because I've already had this recorded, um, and I just wanted to, you know, show you how it looks and everything. So, um, the video is going to, the recording desktop software is going to render it. You might have to do some fancy footwork uh, to get it to load into AVID Mux. Now, let me actually talk about uh, something really briefly. Uh, all the software that I'm showing you how to use is free, readily available, uh, and cross-platform, so you can use it whether you're Mac, Windows, or Linux. Uh, so now, here we go. Um, it rendered to here, or rather a different version rendered to here. I named it uh, this. Don't worry about the name. I'm going to right-click, open with AVI Demux. Now, this looks different than it's going to look on your machine, unless you're having to, having happening to run Ubuntu Linux version 10.04, um, which I doubt any of you are using. But anyway, so loaded the video into AVI Demux. Um, just, you know, making sure it played okay. It's looking good. Um, now, so now I'm going to go to audio, save, and just save the audio file somewhere. It doesn't matter where. Um, and now that that's done, I'm going to want to go to audio, main track, none. That's for later. I'm going to go ahead and minimize AVI Demux. Uh, for now, and so now, oh, ignore that. Okay, so now I load up Audacity. Audacity is an extremely powerful piece of software, professional grade. It's also decently easy to use once you figure everything out. Um, but it's it's amazing how it's completely free and open source, yet it's so damn powerful. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and open up that audio file that I just created. Um, now, technically, you can actually load the video straight most of the time, um, but... And this works for me too. Okay, so here you see, now here's the, um, this is just the sound effects track. Um, and what you can see is that you can tell when the battle starts and when the battle, when the battle ends by when is there the background music present. So as you can see, the battle starts here, it ends here. We're only going to want to have a soundtrack over this battle for, you know, when there's actually a battle. So start it basically right here, end it right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in using this tool, the fit selection tool, uh, to figure out, well, how many seconds in is it? So it appears to be about 41 seconds. Um, so 41 seconds uh, at the beginning don't need narration, or don't need commentary, rather. Uh, sorry, don't need soundtrack, rather. And then at the end, it looks like it ends at 558.5. So uh, I load up Google. Google Calculator is amazing for this stuff. Um, I type in 5 minutes, 58.5 seconds... Minus 41 seconds. It was 41, right? And it doesn't really matter. Okay. So um, the double parentheses are going to be for later, but I, you definitely want the parentheses. So now you see it's 5.29 blah, blah, blah minutes. You don't worry about that. Okay. But what we want now is to identify a piece of music that we want to use for today's battle. Um, I've already selected the piece of music. It is by uh, the Bird and the Bee. Or, yeah, Bird and the Bee, right? Uh, do, 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 it's somewhere on here. Uh, it's called Birds and the Bees. So, load it in. I'm uh, going to cut out a little bit of this extraneous part here. Um, so, it's going to be about 3 minutes 49 seconds in length. So, let's load this back up. And so, now what I'm going to do is do, do divide by 3 minutes 40... Wait, I did say 49 seconds double parentheses there, and so now I get this 1.386 number. Now, what am I using this for? I'm actually going to copy-paste it. What I'm going to want to do uh, to get the uh, battle to be the same length as the soundtrack is I'm going to want to speed this up. So I select this part, and I go to change speed, and then I'm going to drop these first uh, digits in, 1.386. Oh, wait, no, no, that's wrong. <laughs> I want, um, it's going to be 38.6... I almost did that really badly. So I'm, this is percent increase. So 38.646% increase. 646. Um, and so that's going to speed this part up. Now, while that's working, I'm going to go back to um, AVI Demux, and I'm going to want to change the frame rate for this video uh, so that I can record a narration. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and multiply by 30 because my... Um, my recorder recorded at 30 frames per second. If your recorder didn't record at 30 frames per second, you know, it'll be, it'll be shown right here, and you'll want to put that in for that number. So I'm going to want to change this to 41.594 uh, frames per second. 41.594. 
And as you see, that just decreased the length of the video. And you know, if you actually go to watch it, uh, you'll see it goes a little bit faster than it would otherwise. Uh, and so that's nice. Going to go ahead and now I'm going to show you something else. Um, oh wait, this finished. I'll come. I'll come back to that. So back to AVID Mux. Now the thing is, if you play this just as is, it's going to sound like a bunch of chipmunks. So the next thing you're going to have to do is go to change pitch and lower the pitch. Uh, and now you, you could just fool with it until it sounds right, but there's a much easier way. Uh, so you have this ratio right here. What you want is one over this ratio, and to get the percent decrease, hey, come on, I want one minus one over, and then this ratio. And that's why I have the double parentheses there, so that order of operations doesn't screw me over. So now that, this means I'm going to want to uh, decrease the pitch by 27.874%. So here I go, percent change, negative 27.874%. So that's going to lower the pitch. Um, I'm going to go ahead now and uh, move the soundtrack so that it lines up with the start of the battle. And so now we're just going to play it a little bit. I'm going to move my uh, microphone so maybe you can hear some of this. Uh, yeah, here we go. Come on. Okay, so sounds good. Um, and it ends in the right place. That's good, too. So now what I'm going to want to do is uh, fool around with the soundtrack a little because, you know, most pieces of music that you're going to find aren't really cut out for soundtracks as is. The volume level changes, so if you were to... Uh, you need, you're going to need to lower the volumes on all this stuff, uh, or rather the mixes on all this stuff, so that you can hear your own voice over the sounds of the battle and over the sounds of the soundtrack. But if you do that, then there's going to be certain parts of the battle, or certain parts of the soundtrack that uh, are too loud and other parts that are too soft, unless you do this. You go to Effect. You go to Compressor. Um, now, I'm not sure how many of these things are default settings and how many of these I changed, but these are these are good ratios, or these are good settings that I use. Uh, I don't compress based on peaks. I mean, fool around with it, see what happens. Uh, so, now, again, I'm applying this to the soundtrack, not to um, the battle sounds. So, okay, I've gone ahead and I've used the compressor. Now I'm gonna actually going to use the leveler as well. Heaviest degree of uh, leveling, uh, threshold for noise, negative 80 decibels. Uh, these are just settings that work for me. Now what I'm going to want to do finally is go to amplify and lower the peak amplitude down to negative 25 decibels. Uh, this is just a setting that seems to work okay for me, although a lot of you actually complain that my music is too loud in my battles, so you might want to lower that to negative 30 or something like that. Um, and while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and lower the volume on this part. Uh, same thing, go to Effect, Amplify, and I'm going to set this to negative 15. So negative 15, negative 25, those are the settings that I use. Uh, you might, you know, your mileage may vary. Okay, so now the next thing to do, so I've got the frame rate here set up correctly. I'm going to want to load a new Audacity window. Uh, basically, I have to do this in a new Audacity window. Maybe your sound card works a little better, and you can actually do this in the same window. Um, and I'm going to want to record my narration. So I'm um, going to go ahead and hit record. Um, this part right here is going to... So basically, I wouldn't be talking over this part usually, and it would be empty space that I could then use for uh, noise reduction. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit play. So, hi folks, it's Antar1011. I've got a new Little Cup battle for you today. My opponent is Moody Poons. It's amazing! Yay! Okay, but you get the point. So, um, once that was done, I would go ahead and select the parts before the battle, uh, or be before I hit uh, play on AVI Demux, and I would go to Effect, Noise Removal, uh, Get Noise Profile, then I would delete that parts before the battle, and I would go to Effect, Noise Removal, okay, and that would remove the noise from this part of, uh, from the actual commentary. Uh, so now I've already done this. I've had, you know, this is kind of like one of those cooking shows that you see where, you know, okay, now you cook for 45 minutes, but obviously you're not going to want to sit around and talk, have the person talk while, you know, the thing is cooking, so they've already cooked it. Um, I hope that made sense. So here we go. Here is my noise reduced thing. I'm just going to go ahead and use uh, control C to copy. Um, get Add a new hey come on add a new stereo track, um, put it at the beginning. Do, do, do. I just pasted it. Um, come on, it just takes a few minutes because you know, it takes a few minutes. Um, come on, come on. Okay, so boring. Um, how you folks doing? Blah blah blah. Wow, this is really taking a while. Uh, usually doesn't take this long. 
I guess it doesn't like you guys. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I'm just, hey, hey, oh, oops, my other computer just went to sleep. Okay, so this will be finished eventually. Um, hmm. So, oh, there we go. Yay, it's done. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, do some playback to make sure that the uh, audio settings are correct, The basically the volume levels are correct. Come on. Okay, so it, sound, it sounds good to me. I can hear my voice over the music, and the special effects aren't really bothering me. Again, you know, your mileage may vary. I know I've gotten a lot of complaints for you saying that my music is too loud. Uh, kids with their music too loud. So anyway, once I'm done, I go ahead and go to File, Export. Um, don't worry about this part. This is just, you know, where I save all my commentaries. Um, so now I type in the name of the file, common... Terry DS 111. So this is going to be Battle 111, um, or it already was Battle 111. Um, I'm going to want to clear out this information. Oh, you didn't see that. Okay, yeah, I, uh, don't worry about that. Okay, so now it's going to go ahead and export. The file is going to export. It's actually not going to take too long, which is nice. Um, so, going to go back to AVI DMUX. Now, the frame rate is already set. Uh, while that's going, I'm going to go ahead and go into filters and show you a few things. So, you might need to crop. Uh, I don't because I got my uh, desktop recorder to uh, do the exact parts of the video that I wanted. Um, so, it's, it's 640 by 40 already, but, you know, you can fool around with a crop to get it to only do the top screen um, and only the part of the top screen that you want. Uh, if you wanted to do a fade out at the end, you could use this. Um, what I do is resample frames per second. I don't know that blend necessarily... It, it definitely doesn't... It's going to decrease quality a little bit. Um, but the reason I do this is... Uh, for file size purposes, and also I figure it's less work for YouTube. I'm not sure what actually YouTube uh, videos the frame rate is, but um, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and set it to 30 frames per second, um, and with the blend setting on, uh, if you needed to resize the video for whatever reason, you could use the M player resize. That might not be available outside of Linux. You might need to use just resize. Um, now, I'm using the uh, MPEG-4 AVC X264 codec because X264 is what YouTube uses and you want to limit the um, diff number of different codecs that happen. This will cut down on processing time, evidently. Um, I'm also going to lower the quantizer to 20. Lower quantizer means higher quantity. Um, below 20, you're not really going to see any improvement. And in fact, I could probably leave it at 26. But this is just something that I do. Again, your mileage may vary. You should fool around with it. Okay, so it looks like... Yeah, so the audio is done. So now I'm going to have to go ahead and go to Audio, Main Track, External MP3, um, Multimedia, I'll go back to find that file. Uh, where is it? Completed commentaries, right. So it's DS... Well, I've got a lot here. Okay, DS111. So I go ahead and hit OK. Um, I'm just going to move it to the beginning just to make sure that everything's synced up correctly. Yeah, it, we're good, we're good. I uh, just wanted to make sure that the sound effects were properly in sync. And then I go ahead and hit Save. Um... Just going to save it somewhere, give it a name. This is a battle. .avi. Yeah, you need to include the extension, otherwise it won't give it an extension on its own. Hit save, and it'll render. And then, once you're done, you've got a video that's prime ready to be uploaded to YouTube. Now, that's all for, t that's all for this tutorial, folks. If you have any problems, feel free to leave a comment. I will help you in any way I can. Um, yeah, so 